Health care workers are warning of a critical shortage of life-saving supplies. Hospitals across the country already saying they only have a week worth of supplies. Well, I've been in the industry 45 years, been through the SARS and have never seen anything like this before. I'm Maddie Kamer, M-A-D-I-K-A-M-E-R, and I am a general team member at Target. Well, Corona is really affecting my family and the fact that we had to take two trips to Ohio University to get all of my stuff from my dorm. We now have a bunch of boxes lying around our house. My stepdad, who works at Meyer, now has so many hours and he has to do so much more at work, including watching out for his own hygiene and then we have to watch out for our own hygiene because he's had, having contact with so many people each and every day. Target's taking a lot of precautions for both our safety and our guest safety. First of all, we have a lot more truck to unload because of all the toilet paper shortage, all the food shortage, all that good stuff. And also, we are allowed to wear gloves, we have to wash our hands, especially every time we use the restroom or when we come into work. We also have to keep on top of restocking things and only allow one paper towel or paper product in general to each guest because people are trying to take them in bulk and if they do that then no one else can get them so we really have to limit what everyone buys. Uh, we're having a shortage of toilet paper, paper towels, hand wipes, face wipes, anything that has to do with uh, cleaning basically. Any soap is gone. Um, all of our fresh meats are gone right now. Uh, we're having a shortage of preservable foods such as like spaghetti, any sort of rice or pasta. Um, ramen especially because it's super cheap and it lasts forever and then canned goods like canned goods like soup are going really fast um everyone just be safe uh don't go out if you don't have to i know i'm saying that in front of a public grocery store but please don't go out unless you have to wash your hands stay sanitized limit your contact with people and if you feel safe wearing gloves and masks don't let other people judge you for that it's your personal safety and you have to protect everyone around you Coronavirus crisis is changing life as we know it dramatically tonight after the government ordered the immediate closure of almost all the places we go to for leisure, with bars, pubs, restaurants and gyms among them. Welcome back to our continuing coverage. Coronavirus is impacting many businesses in a big way, and that includes the restaurant industry. And with more cases of COVID-19 on the rise and buffets shutting down on the Las Vegas Strip, the question is, is it safe to eat out? I am Keegan Sherry, K-E-A-G-A-N-S-H-E-R-R-Y, and I am a shift leader here at Chick-fil-A Market at Hilliard. The coronavirus is affecting me personally by, you know, I just got an email last night that my school fair estate's closing, so I won't be able to complete face-to-face uh, -face classes there anymore. Um, it's preventing me a lot. My parents are kind of really about this whole social distancing idea, and it's kind of preventing me from doing a lot of things with my friends, which is a positive overall, but mostly it's affecting my schooling. And since I am a welding engineering student, you know, I'm not able to do weld lab, you know, for my 12 hours a week. So there's just a lot of different things where I'm not getting the same type of education that I should from my technical classes. So my restaurant's precautionary stuff right now is obviously following what's been, um, ordered by uh, Governor DeWine where there's no longer able to have any dine-in um, guests. We only serve um, through the drive-thru right now. This also affecting is, you know, how many people we have on shift because we don't need a dining room person and people of that nature. Uh, most importantly, we're all wearing gloves and it's required that we do that at all times. And that's really the health measures that we're taking. Obviously, uh, another thing that we just instilled was um, you have to take your temperature before um, entering a shift and many other things like that is what we're taking to be precautious during this kind of uneasy time. Um, I think it's definitely necessary seeing that we are a you know, fast food establishment where you have hundreds if not almost thousands of customers, uh, guests coming through each day and it's kind of necessary to make sure that for our safety as the um, workers and for our guest safety that we do things like keep gloves on or take our temperature and it was actually kind of courteous when um, People came up to me today after my shift and said, you know, almost like I'm an army person, you know, saying thank you for serving us today. And so it's kind of 
humbling and nice seeing that taking these precautions while still maintaining and being able to serve the um, community is really positive. Um, I just say right now, just again, follow what guidelines are being put out. Just practice that social distancing idea and don't freak out. We'll get through this.